Hey, Bold fans. Happy Thursday. Hopefully, you're having a terrific one. Yes, it's Friday Eve. We're inching closer and closer to the end of the week, but hold on to your halt couture hats, folks, because today's episode, we're swimming in a sea of grudges, lingerie, and family secrets. We got Brooke trying to redefine beauty, Ridge being the ultimate family mediator, Steffi clutching her grudges tighter than a Chanel purse, Meanwhile, Bill doing his best to play peacemaker, though he got his hands full with a very suspicious Katie and a clingy poppy. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this drama in LA for July 25th. Brooke versus Steffi. The grudge match continues. So in the design office, Hope is practically bursting with excitement as she tells Brooke how thrilled she is about the upcoming fashion summit. Now, it's a chance for Brooke to redefine beauty as if she needs any help in that department. But Brooke's more worried about Steffi's reaction to her tagging along with Ridge. Now, Hope, trying to be optimistic, tells her mom not to let Steffi's perpetual pity party stand in her way. If Steffi wants to sulk, let her sulk. Hope is all about supporting Brooke and Ridge rekindled romance too, even if it means stepping on a few Forrester toes along the way. Meanwhile, in the Forrester office, Ridge is doing his best to convince Steffi to let bygones be bygones. Now, he reminds her that life is short and that grudges only weigh us down. If she's going to be mad at somebody, it should be him. After all, he's the one bringing Brooke to the summit. Now, Steffi is shocked to hear about Brooke's inclusion into their Monte Carlo trip. She thought it was just going to be her and her dear old dad bonding over fashion and croissants. Now, Ridge gave his best pitch about the summit and how it's a perfect place to relaunch Brooke's bedroom line and how Brooke is the perfect spokesperson. Yeah, but Steffi, mm -mm, she's not buying it though. She supports empowering women, just not that woman. But eventually, she relents agreeing to put a plan as long as Brooke stays out of her way. Now Ridge promises they'll have plenty of father-daughter time giving her a reassuring hug. Steffi, ever the skeptic, remains convinced that the line is going to flop. But hey, that's family for you. Now back in the design office, Ridge can't resist stealing the smooch from Brooke and urging her to get into her lingerie again. Now Brooke loves how Ridge make her feel beautiful and sexy. But she don't want to come between him and his daughter. Ah, the eternal struggle of being caught between love and family drama. Over in the main office, Hope barges in on Steffi to gloat about her mom's latest opportunity. Steffi, of course, is less than thrilled, complaining that Brooke is wedging herself between her and Ridge. Now, Hope understands how much that must sting, but insists they need to focus on their parents' happiness. Support Brooke, she says. Never, Steffi declares, cementing her stance on that matter. Now let's talk about Bill, Luna, and Poppy, a new family or a new fiasco. So meanwhile, over at Bill's, Poppy is fuming after a run-in with Katie, who always knows how to push her buttons. Luna, ever the peacekeeper, urges her mom, look, just let it go. Life is good. We've got Bill, and everything seems perfect. And then Bill walks in, agreeing with Luna, and assures them that he won't let anything ruin their happiness. He's a changed man, thanks to them and he doesn't want any secrets between them. Bill's heart to heart with Luna is touching with Luna expressing gratitude for having him as her dad. Now after Luna leaves Bill senses something is off. His spency senses are tingling. Now, Poppy admits her encounter with Katie has her on edge, and Katie's been poking around, asking questions, and it's making Poppy nervous. Bill holds her close, reassuring her that Katie is harmless, and she ain't got nothing to worry about. But yeah, Poppy, nah, she can't shake the feeling that Katie is on to something. Speaking of Katie and her quest for the truth, over at Lee's office, Katie Katie is on a mission. She's asking Lee if there's any chance that that paternity test could be wrong, wrong, wrong. Now, Lee insists that she personally conducted that test, so there would be no room for error. But even 
Lee and Mr. Poppy give off some strange vibes. Still, the tests are accurate. Bill is indeed Luna's father, and she looked disappointed to hear that news. However, Katie confesses that it's hard watching Bill move on with a new family, but it's not just the family that bothers her. It's Poppy's possessive attitude. Lee acknowledges that her sisters always seem to be up to something, but the test was correct. Bill and Luna are definitely family, determined to get to the bottom of things. Finally, we see Katie hopping onto a computer, ready to dig up whatever dirt she can find on Poppy. Whatever Poppy's hiding, Katie is determined to uncover it. Okay, so there you have it, my soapies. The day in the life of the Forrester and the Spencers. Let's get the conversation started down in the comments section. Will Steffi and Brooke ever bury the hatchet? Can Bill keep the peace in this new family? And what will Katie discover about Poppy's mysterious past? So we got to stay tuned. Also, make sure you check out the Young and the Restless recap for today as well. As we got Summer getting temporary custody of Harrison, Tracy asking Alan to go to LA, and Victor gives Devon and Abby his blessing. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you're notified every time a video is posted. Till the next one, we'll see you all soon. Bye, Soapy.